Hello and welcome to my channel. It's Jess with Love to Plan with Jess and today we are going to be decorating my journals for the week of October 21st. Uh, I use a Happy Planner dot grid journal um, and this is more to write down thoughts and feelings. And then I have a Kelva Plan vertical layout, and in this journal is more of memory keeping. So I'm going to decorate both of these in the video today. We're going to start with my vertical layout. And to decorate this week, I thought that I would use Tropical Abstract by Kesthetic Plans. Now this might seem like an odd choice uh, for a fall spread, right? For an October fall spread. Um, but I kind of wanted to take a break from all of the Halloween um, spreads that I have been doing and the fall spreads and kind of go rogue and um, <laughs> use this sticker book this week. So I think I'm going to start with one of these clusters and um, let's just put it right here. So for my dot grid journal, I am going to be decorating with some fall stickers, but I thought that it would be fun to have something kind of bright uh, this week in my journal. So we are going to use these. I just love the colors in these, and they're just so unique. So um, let's take... Uh, usually I will put like a double wide box, but that is kind of big, and now I don't know if I'm going to have a room to do a double wide on this side. If I do, it's going to kind of like overlap with this with this cluster. Let me just pull this and see. I think I can make it work. I think I'm gonna put this like in the corner uh, over here. So we're gonna put this down like in the corner and before I put it all the way down, we'll layer something fun underneath it on this side. So let's take some kind of decorative element. Maybe like one of these. Well, there's so many of these like fun layering elements. I want something that's not already in here. How about this? This looks cool. Let me take this one. Oh, this one is already kind of cut at the top, so I can put it up there. Mm, I'm gonna do this one. So we can put this kind of coming out from the side of this box and I'm going to put it like like right here okay I like that and we want to put anything else with it I think that that's good because it's already kind of layered right it has like the leaves and um, that little circle and those little splotches so I think we're good there and let's take another box and maybe put it coming off like this way. So let's go back to our boxes. And let's do, I think I want like a square box. How about this color? Maybe I change my mind and we're going to do this color and put it over here on this side. And then we can put something kind of decorative right there. So let's put this. We're going to overlap it this way. Just like that. And then now we can put something fun and decorative here maybe one of these like girls and they are paper yes okay so we have um clear and paper i typically will choose a clear sticker if i'm going to put it like underneath layer it underneath or if i'm going to layer like two clear ones together 
But if I want to put something over a box, it's usually easier to do that with a paper sticker. And let's see, we want something that's not terribly big. Maybe like this one here. I think that's cute. Now let's take a like a full size box and just put one down here. Maybe we can take one of these like florals and kind of layer it with because um, we could use some florals down here at the bottom. So I'm just going to put this. Oh, there's that really pretty butterfly. I don't want to cover that up. So let's put this down here and we can put this box like that. I think I want to take this and put it underneath, maybe on this side, lift up this corner here and put this there. This is looking really cute. Uh, I think that this side is pretty good. I did pull out some quote books. I have uh, Rainbow Quotes and Rainbow Quotes Volume 2 by Kel of a Plan. So let's add in a couple of quotes. I want like a small one for over here. How about Slay the Day? I think that'll fit nicely right there and then maybe one that's a little bit bigger on this side and I think that we can put something decorative uh, sort of on this edge so let's find a floral that either already has like a flat edge to it or I can cut it let's see where those clusters are yeah something like this maybe So I'm gonna put this here. And then uh, we can put a quote here. Here's one that says, you got this. I guess we're going to be very motivational in my <laughs> journal this week. I'm going to white this line out here. And then we'll just stick this quote in the middle. Actually, the shape of that quote is going to fit really nicely around those stickers. Okay, I love that side. Let's move over to the right. I don't know that I love that the orange and the orange. I switched it from the blue because I thought that having the blue next to that blue, but now that I'm looking at it, um, I feel like I probably should have used blue but then I have blue down there, so we're not going to we're not going to switch it. <laughs> we're gonna just leave it the way that it is. All right, for the right side of the page, let's take. Usually, I will do a sidebar because um, that gives me some really good journaling space. So maybe we'll do a pink one. Um, I'm gonna do that last. I think first let's do like a double wide, another like double wide situation. And how about we take a blue one this time. And I'm going to put it like here-ish, but let's add some of these decorative elements with it, kind of layer them. So I'm gonna take some of these, um, I guess I can bring the book in frame so you can see what I'm doing. Ooh, I think this one will look really cool. Let's put this, put that down for a second. Let's put this like here, right here. And I'm gonna put this one kind of right where those two boxes, like that right angle, I'm going to try and get this box to be in between them. 
I don't know if that's straight. I hope so. Yeah, I think that that looks really cool. Like that. Oh, I probably shouldn't have stuck this all the way down because I'm going to want to put something underneath here on the top. Let's take... How about this one? Put that one right about there. Oops, that box went down a little wrinkle. Let me fix that. There we go. Let's do a girl right here. So one of these, one of these girls, and I can kind of have her like sitting on the box. So I'm gonna need one that's sort of narrow. Now, do I want her to be facing the box this way or facing out? I feel like you probably would want to have her facing out, right? I like these ones better though. Let's see. Let's see how it looks to have one facing in. I think that's okay, right? That's not too bad. This one has a lot of, like there's already a lot of these like plant um, decorative elements and there's a lot of this sticker that has that also. So I kind of wanted something a little bit different to sort of break that up. So let's put that there. I'm gonna put this one back. Oops, I didn't do a very good job of putting that back. Let's try again. Okay. Uh, I think we can layer another box coming off of this down here. So let's take, how about maybe a, let's take like this color. There. Okay, up here at the top, let's do, let's take this um, full box. And then I think I want some of these more like these, like abstract pieces. So maybe, I like these flowers. So I'm gonna put these down here. And let's use this. Let's put this like right about here. Um, okay, I'm gonna set this down like that. And I think I want a butterfly. We have a few butterflies here. Maybe we can have them kind of flying around. I really like this colorful one. Let's put this one like there. And we don't have any butterflies on this side of the page, but this side of the page is kind of full. So let's just put that there. And I think we can use this box to kind of layer there. And we do not have any quotes. I can put a real small one here and then another quote in the sidebar. So now let's do the sidebar. And I think a pink box makes sense here. So let's take a pink sidebar. And now I feel like we have a lot of decor here. So a box makes sense here. 
but then that means that I'm going to have a quote up here that's kind of opposite that. I think that that's okay, though. I, I want to put this down here. I'm going to lift this up, and we're going to um, kind of tuck that box underneath this here. So put this down here. Well, that didn't even really go over and <laughs> just like a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. Okay, and there were some more um, florals, this, but this is kind of big. Oh, and if I put it there, it's going to be upside down that like, I feel like it should go this way, right? Or this way. So let's find something else to put there. We could do another one of these um, girls, but I don't know, that might be too much. Let's take this one. Um, we can kind of layer it over that box too. So I'm going to put it just like that and we'll trim off this piece here and I don't know that we want to use this scrap anywhere I don't think so let's put in a like a quote here maybe like a smaller quote here and a quote here I'm gonna take this one that says hardcore homebody and put it here. Let's white this line out. There we go. And then I have this one that says dreams are for chasing and I can put that right here. All right, I love how this one turned out. Let's move on to my dot grid. For my dot grid journal, we are still taking a break from Halloween, but we are going to be decorating with some fall stickers. And these are like true fall stickers, right? These like orange and brown. Uh, I think it's just that one page, yeah. So those are the ones that I chose. And um, as far as boxes, so there are some like boxes and bullets in the back of this book that would coordinate, but since I like to use the double long and double wide size in my journals, I thought that I would uh, just take out Mojo Jojo orange and brown boxes and more and use those. So I think I'm going to grab a, I was thinking about putting this tree um, I could just put it down at the bottom. I was going to maybe put it sitting like on top of a box, but maybe we will just have it going along the bottom. So let's take that out and put it maybe on this side, on the bottom of the page, just like that. There's these leaves, like corner leaves and are there any other there's a couple other leaves but I think I'm going to put them I feel like they need to go this way right yeah so we're just going to put them down here in the corner just like that and I'm going to just uh, trim this rounded corner because these stickers have a like 90 degree corner to them and this uh, book is has like a rounded edge so we're just going to trim that off I'm going to take a like a double wide orange box now there are three different shades of orange in this book and I honestly feel like I could use all three of them like if you're looking at the stickers here this light one would work this one probably works the best. And then there's this almost red, but that color is in here too. So I might use like a combination of some of these orange colors. But uh, to start, let's take this one. 
And I'm using the ones with the lines. I like to use the lined boxes in my journal just because it gives me um, kind of a place to write. And let's put this box down here. Oh, that moved just as I was putting it down. There we go. And I'm going to take this like vase with the flowers and let's put that right here. And then there are some, we have uh, some books, some books with a little pumpkin and candles. I wanna put something down here next to those florals, but I want it to be, I think that this might be the best size wise. Yeah, I'm gonna cut the bottom of it off and put that right here. All right, that's cute. Uh, we need some brown on this side of the page, so let's take brown boxes and more, and I'm gonna use this dark brown color. It's like the darkest, um, darkest color in this book. And I'm going to take this like full size box and we'll put it up here. And that's also the lined one. And maybe we'll layer an orange box with it. And let's do a different shade of orange. Let's do like the, the lightest color. Like that. Can we fit this little backpack up here? I'm gonna scooch this box down a little bit. And then we can put that backpack sitting on the top. Like that. I'm gonna put the date here and maybe like a quote here. I could fit something down here. How about these, these books we can put down here. Um, there's also the boots. What do we think about the boots? Having trouble getting these stickers off the page. Usually the like the material of this clear sticker paper is thicker and usually I don't have a problem pulling it off just with my hands, but today I am having trouble. I think this looks better here. It's going to go over the like the spine here. Um, or I can kind of layer it so that it doesn't go over the spine and we would just have to white out that box. What do we think would be better? I think I'm okay having this kind of go across that spine there. Let's take maybe a double wide box in that brown color now. I think we'll put that here. And let's put one of these girls. I kind of wanted to use them both, but I don't really have space to put them unless I put um, them both on this side of the page. And I don't know that I love that idea. So let's see how she's going to look up here. I think that's cute. So let's trim off a little bit of the bottom there and sit her right on top. And let's take an orange box. And let's put it here. like that and then we can put these books on top kind of in this little corner right there and then I think I want to use this lighter orange color 
don't really have a room for like a double long box. So maybe we'll take a full size box. And I think I'm gonna use one without the line so that I can turn it this way. And I think I want it down here. Uh, we're going to lift up this tree. So that I can sneak this box here. Like that now, let's see. Um, I was gonna white out the box behind it, but the color is so light and it's almost the same as that orange color. So you can't really tell. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it. Now we need something to go here. Um, let's see, would it be too much to put her there? But this looks super weird to have the girl sitting on this box with like that vase. I don't know, I feel like that's kind of weird. But I also kind of like it. Let's move these candles. I'm doing it, I like it. And then let's put these candles over here. Now we don't have a ton of boxes, so maybe we can add in, I was gonna put the date here, but I don't need all of that room for the date. So I could add a box in here. I just don't know how I would like layer it in there. I feel like it would have to just be its own box, but then it's like box, box, box. That's kind of weird. The way that I set this up, I don't really feel like there is another good place for a box. I could layer one here. Um, I don't know, but then that might look kind of strange. Let's see if I take a dark brown, maybe like this size. And I can put it here, but then if I pull those rain boots over it, that's not gonna really give me a whole lot of like journaling space. Oh, what if we just stick a box here, maybe like that color? And let's just have like a, just a solo box over here. Okay, I don't hate that. And then can we do the same on this side, but maybe, should we do this color again? And there's a lot of that color, maybe this color. I could do this real dark color. We would just have to pull it in on this side too. Yeah, let's put this box up here. Just gonna kind of layer it underneath like that. But this time I am going to white it out because um, it's a very dark box and so you can really see it through this sticker. So I'm just taking my Uniball Signo white gel pen and just whiting out what you're going to see behind that sticker. Let that dry for a second. And then we need this color on this side. What if we take like a, just like a header box. And either put it there, which I don't hate that. Yeah, I think we'll put it here. Like that. Okay, and we can put this down. Uh, let's put the dates in. Now we can either use like either of these books. Uh, let's do the brown boxes and more. We'll use that dark brown color. And this is the week of October 21st. Just checking the other spread that I did. 
Um, and I don't have a 21 in that color. So I guess we will use the orange instead. And which, which shade of orange should we use? How about this one? So I will take an October. We have October. And it's the 21st through the 27th. 21, 27. Uh, let's add in a couple of quotes. There aren't, um, a, there isn't a ton of room for quotes, but this uh, Rainbow Quotes Volume 2 does have some smaller quotes in it. So uh, let's take a look at those. Let's take this one. A grateful heart is a magnet for miracles. Put that there. And then maybe another one there. I want to stick with that same um, that same font. So in this sticker book uh, or in this quote book, there are like a whole bunch of different fonts and each font has like the same quotes in black and white and in color. So I want to stick to just using this page um, that's going to have that same font. This one says dreaming is a form of planning. Put that there. Um, let's see. Anywhere else? I don't know. I think that we're going to call it good. Um, this space here, maybe we can put like some leaves. There's these leaves. And again, it's going to kind of go into um, like the center of uh, where the spine is, but it's going to fill in that space for me. And I think I like that. And now we have this extra piece. And I think we can put that maybe right there. And maybe you can do the same thing here with, I'll take this one instead because this one is like the same color as that box. So let's just cut here and put that there um put that there and do we have room for this guy I think we are calling it. <laughs> we are all done with my dot grid journal for the week of October 21st. I think this one came out really cute. I use Live Love Posh Fall Elements. And then for my vertical layout, I use Kesthetic Plans Tropical Abstract. Um, I like how both of them came out. They're both very different, um, really fun. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.